what happens if we mix the breakability of Hades boon system and the chaotic item stacking from risk of rain to let's find out if you don't know i am working on this top down action roguelike game it's on steam i would appreciate it if you can wishlist it so i studied a lot of roguelike games in terms of progression and variety of builds they offer to make each run unique what really stood out to me the most were these two the predictable way hades rewards players through its boon system by predictable i mean the boon system mainly modifies these three abilities in contrast risk of rain 2's item stacking leads to some insane runs this in context of the game works out great due to its difficulty over time feature somehow i wanted to combine these two approaches to rewarding players in my game so this is the system i came up with i have categorized rewards into two types primary rewards will directly impact the various attacks player can perform for example initially players will start with a simple dash but as they progress they can upgrade to various types of dash attacks each with its own tiers to give a sense of progression complementary rewards will add something additional on top of the primary rewards and these can be stackable like in risk of rain 2 to add some chaos for example fire additional projectiles when status effect activates or it could be as simple as dash twice or have a critical chance on a certain type of attack i think you get the idea the most important distinction that i am making is that these two rewards need to be mutually exclusive so that it can be combined seamlessly now i needed a system to add more depth to the gameplay so i added elemental status effects just as so many other games have it one way or another anyway i have these status effects right now each with its own behavior when active for example fire status effect does a constant tick of damage and ice slows down the enemies and electric makes the enemies electrified which would make it so that additional attacks on it will send these electrical bolts to nearby foes also i have an advanced version for these where player will be able to pick up a skill card in harder areas which hopefully should add to that sense of progression for example fire status effect does burst of damage instead and ice status effect freezes the enemy instead and poison effect spreads to the closer enemies I'll probably be tweaking these with play testing feedback and I also have more ideas in mind but the important thing is that I have implemented these with customizability in mind so it's easy to add a new status effect without changing existing stuff and the implementation is quite unique I will probably be making a separate tutorial for it so stay tuned for that Now these are the primary ways the player will be able to deal damage since i want melee combat system to be the main focus of the game i have a melee combo system with subsequent attacks in combo being stronger players will start with a normal slash attack which they can upgrade to various elemental types and they can also add a variety of attacks as their third attack in the combo for example i have this attack which does ton of damage and adds a huge knockback to enemies but since it's the last attack in combo it should be a bit more risky to pull off now moving onwards to spell attacks it will be an occasional range attack which needs to be charged by attacking enemies for this i want to make a bigger impact since this attack will be less frequent in general i am following this simple rule less frequent or harder to pull off attacks need to be stronger and impactful so i added these spell abilities for now simple projectile slow moving version which does aoe damage on impact straight dashna slash attack which damages everything along its path area sweep attack which damages in a curved area around the player all these will have multiple variations depending on the elemental type each with a different visual effect i briefly wanted to mention one thing that is really hard to appreciate and is often overlooked good visual effects 
although I am using some effects from pre-made asset packs, but it's almost next to impossible to find every VFX that I need readily available. So it took a while to learn and experiment, which hopefully should explain the long gap from the previous devlog. Anyway, moving on to dash abilities, I added this thunder dash ability which does impact damage from where the dash started. I also have these area of effect abilities which causes build up in that area. Now in terms of game design, the dash abilities don't have any limit and might seem overpowered. But then it has limited range and you also need to think about positioning. So I think it would be balanced. But play testing will give a bit more clear picture. I also made all these changes. These little changes I'm sure you won't notice but it definitely adds to the immersion and the feel of the game. And that mostly covers this month's progress. Overall, it took more time than I would have wanted especially on the VFX part since I had to learn and experiment a lot. But I'm happy with the progress. Up next, I want to add more enemy variations and a boss fight as well and actual sound to the game since this is how my game sounds right now. After this, I want to do a round of playtesting. So if you are interested, please join my Discord server. I also plan on posting more regular updates there. Now, as promised, the current wishlist number at the time of recording is. I'm really grateful to everyone who has wishlisted the game and find it worth their time. I truly appreciate it. Although my 5k wishlist target looks really far away. Can you please help me reach 100 wishlists? And now I would like to hear from you about the game so far or if you have any suggestions please comment below thanks a lot for watching